Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 59. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Alright, so we are here for the BBS 400 horsepower runoff. We're going to be taking a Porsche Cayman today. Um, vroom vroom, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Your current car. Uh, my car is insanely underpowered. Ah, shit. Yeah, it's um, A-class. Why was I trying to get it to top of B-class? Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I did my upgrades completely wrong. I had B-class in my head for some reason. Uh, we're going to be starting off with Suzuka Circuit, then Road Atlanta, Maple Valley Raceway, Twin Ring Mategi. And then Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Let's get going. Ja it hurts my brain so much. I think for this series, I may end up just going all the way up until Forza Motorsport 7. Like, Horizon 4 and 5 have just been an absolute shambles. I don't think they're even worth doing for this mega series, to be perfectly honest. Don't know what you're looking for. I bet that you look good on the dance floor. This shirt is awesome. Holy fuck. Yeah, it is kind of... Like, why do we need it? They are ex extremely pointless. Like, the thing is, with playing a racing game, cosmetics don't matter. I can smell food. I think my dinner is going to be ready soon. I will hold ya. This is a good song. Like, I understand letting people know that, oh, we've got these features in the games. Like, that doesn't really take much time to let people know about that. But, the other news is, like, why? It's more the features that they add that I've got a problem with. Because it's just the wrong things they're adding. Like, it's how backwards the game is that I think Forza is one of the first, if not the first, game that's added... Hearing aids as a customization option for a character. Like, it's one of those customizations that's just not necessary. Let me hold you. What a tune. Okay, so the brakes really are not that good on this car. Uh, I suppose 
because Forza is one of those games that's introducing people to new racing games. So, because a, a lot of first time racing game people have been starting out with Forza Horizon 4 and 5. Like the amount of people that play the Forza franchise and just refer to Forza Horizon 4 is just like, oh, uh, it's Forza 4. Like, there's a lot of people that don't even know that these earlier motorsport games even exist. So. It kind of makes sense why they're still doing it. Because if you're constantly reminding people, oh, yeah, we've got these features. That, that doesn't bother me. Porsche, so there have to be one or two faults. Oh, yeah. We'll probably uh, start coughing and spluttering and lose a head gasket or something like that. Oh, yeah, that might be Subaru's thing. Oh wow, they both need a um, recovery crew tailing it. I would like to have a Subaru one day. What did I say that my dream garage was? Lexus LFA, Lamborghini Centenario. Um... Nineteen seventy three Skyline Bugatti Veyron and Tesla. I know Tesla's pretty much the fastest in the best electric car out there still. So until a better electric car comes along. Roo roo. At four in the morning. My driving instructor has just sent a message saying that he's got a lesson available at four in the morning. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Yeah. yeah, that's fair enough. But yeah, it's still kind of funny. <laughs> Subarus are just known for it. And there we go. Car level 2. 30% discount on driveline upgrades by Porsche Motorsport. Alright, here we go. Bum, bum, ba -da -da -dum. I've just eaten a nice spaghetti with sausage meatballs. Very nice. <clears throat> very good, very nice. So yeah, this stream is probably gonna last about four and a half hours now. Because of our interruptions. I should probably open my window, get some airflow in this room. Ooh. 
Wow. I need you the most. Yo, Matrix, what up? Welcome back. How are you today? Hello there. How are you today, Pandy? Oh, shit. Good to hear, Matrix. Good to hear. Uh, hopefully, in about 10 minutes' time, my lights are going to come on. I need you the most. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pandy. That means a lot as well. Thank you very much. Love you too. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> oh! I've hit the wall. Collector edition for Need for Speed Unbound is madness. I haven't seen a collector's edition. I've seen the palace edition. Oh, shit. My uh, peripheral vision gaming is not very good at the moment. I used to be able to, like, look at my chat and, like, out of the corner of my eye, easily see it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it, Pandy. And glad that it, um... Glad that that call did good as well. I obviously had to go um, when you went as well. So, it's kind of good timing at that point. Uh, Matrix, do you have a photo of the collector's edition, by the way? Can you send it to me on Discord so I can see what it looks like? Because I'm curious. I love this song so much. Even today, this song still slaps. And this song is... In... In two and a half years' time, it's going to be ten years old. This song. Wow. I hate that. I hate the fact that I can keep reminding myself how old I'm getting. <clears throat> I'm having a midlife crisis. Well, I hope it's not midlife, but I'm having a midlife crisis early, hopefully. Hopefully it's early. <laughs> Boom. I will uh, have a look at it after this race, um, and then I'll talk about it on the next race so that YouTube understands. But yeah, all I've seen is the standard... The one thing that I find really crazy, so if you have EA Play, um, so the standard edition of the game is £60, or it's £70 if you've got... Uh, it's £70 if you want the Palace Edition, right? Uh, I don't know what this is in dollars. This is just the UK store. But on Steam, if you have EA Play and you get the Standard Edition, it's £53. 
or if you get the palace edition it's 55 pound which means you basically get a discount if you have ea play you can get yourself a five pound discount and have the higher edition i mean i'm not going to complain i think that's pretty cool but seems an odd way to do it because they're giving you 10 percent off if you buy the standard version and you have ea play and they're giving you 20% off if you have EA Play for the extended version. So. I'm not complaining. Put your hands up for Detroit. I love this city. But I will be ordering it on uh, Steam so I can get it for the Steam Deck too. <laughs> right, so we've now got a 30% discount on intercooler upgrades. Nice. All right. <laughs> we started off with the next race. And... Uh... <laughs> that is quite interesting. So... They've... How much is this collector's edition, by the way? To be fair, though, this is a collector's edition for a specific store, I believe. Because it says, like, it says EB exclusive. So I assume... This is like a store that's doing their own collector's bundle. Along with Need for Speed. I don't think it's the actual Need for Speed um, collector's edition. But it is interesting. You've got vinyl stickers. Obviously, that's like what every collector's edition has. Some paint pens. Steelbook case. The steelbook looks awesome. And then a balaclava. <laughs> that <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say to that to be honest what the fuck <laughs> I can't imagine someone robbing a store with that it doesn't surprise me <laughs> that's fucking crazy man Oh, nuts. Time to use the rewind. I love this city. Nice. And let's go. Go, go, go. Um... Yeah, I, th I think a lot of people are going to be ordering the game through Amazon just because of the fact that sometimes they are known for shipping orders way too early. Is there a new gameplay trailer as well? I just had a um, YouTube video come up and it said Need for Speed Unbound gameplay trailer. I was like, hmm? Hmm. There's new details about the story apparently as well. Interesting. Obviously, EA has their creator network thing as well. So we're going to see some YouTubers actually um, playing through the game early. Probably at one or two days before. Um, because they do like the one week early access. 
of EA Play. It could be the possibility that single player and multiplayer are um, most games that do it nowadays are like co-op so you'll invite someone into your uh, single player campaign and play through it um, potentially though they might have like set campaigns where it's its own campaign with two people like a separate story they could do that and then do it similar to how like F1 does the two person career mode could be like that you never know because again um, obviously Codemasters Cheshire is, has been um, absorbed by Criterion so technically Codemasters has worked on this need for speed Granted, it is the part of Codemasters that Codemasters absorbed um, Evolution Studios, who made Motorstorm and that. So, technically, the developers that made Motorstorm and that studio technically is making Need for Speed. So, pretty excited. But yeah, it's going to be uh, an interesting one. But I, I'm not putting any pre-orders down until I've tried it on Watch of Magic. Press the wrong button. Whew. This is quite an unstable car, I'll be honest. I've hit that wall again. I'm having a good time with this car in this track. I'll be totally honest. <clears throat> now such a ride. So yeah, we're probably looking at um, four and a half hours of this stream now. Great. Woohoo! I keep forgetting to open that window. I need some air circulation. bad now such a ride now such a ride bam
There you go. Saving Ghost, please don't turn off your console. Yeah, I was planning on deleting everything. I'm not pre prepared for blackouts. What do you mean by that? Yeah, so at the moment, the UK is, uh, is not in a good shape. We are all broke bitches. Jeanette, the UK... I, I don't want to get into politics too much. But if the government announced that they were willing to drop approximately £52,000 worth of taxes per million that the millionaires earn, then why don't they just do that but for lower paying people instead? The people that are affected. Like, the people who are rich and have a lot of money, it wouldn't affect them at all. Because they're just going along their day as it normally has been. Like, I really think our, our country, right, it, it's already weird enough that we have to pay tax twice. Because on everything we buy, we have to pay tax. And then on all the money we earn, bar, I think it's £12,000, we all get taxed. Which is stupid. Like, by all means, tax us on stuff we buy or tax us on our wages. Don't do both. It's just stupid. I'm pretty sure if the government were to get rid of wages taxes and relied only on, like, taxing purchases, they'd be perfectly fine. And it made taxes a lot less complicated for people as well. But again, proves my point why I hate Liz Truss. Because she's just an absolute moron that has no no real connection to the real world. None of the members of parliament do. It's just weird. Especially the Tories. They're so posh and shit. Like, again, I don't, I don't want to get too into the politics. But I, I know for a fact if I'm voting, I ain't voting for conservatives. My vote won't be going towards them. At all. When is the next general election anyways? Should be soon, shouldn't it? I'll probably vote for Labour. To be honest. Because as I was growing up as a kid, we had Labour in charge, and it was fine. And then when I was eight, everything went downhill once the Conservatives came in. It's, just, it's, it's clear as day. Yeah. I mean, they've been in power for 12 years now. And it's still going downhill. Oh, 
we're flowing around these corners. Go, go, go. See, my backlog of videos is only about six videos at the moment. Um, what was it? When, before I went away on my break, that backlog was, I believe, 40 videos. So I went away. It's now down to, like, a really low, low number. So, I'm basically on the grind for the next few weeks, two or three weeks, to try and get that number back up. Uh, mathematically speaking, I only need to do two Forza streams a week um, to maintain the videos that I have. Um... Yeah. So to maintain videos, I need to do two a week. And to add videos to my backlog, I need to do three. I believe... To let go... Not bad. 14 grand. I'll take that. All right, here we go. Claustrophobic. Catastrophic. Honestly, this is the best Slipknot song, and I have no clue why it's not, like, top listen. It is the best. I think it's why they use it in Guitar Hero as well, because it was just a perfect song. I'm still waiting, Microsoft, to hear about uh, Guitar Hero. You know, it's been seven years since the last game came out. I want some news on when a new Guitar Hero is coming out. Because I'm telling you right now, I will buy it. Day one. When it comes out, I don't care if it's good or bad. Well, I'd, I'd, I would care a little bit, but, you know. While everyone was shitting on Guitar Hero Live, I actually really enjoyed that game, so. I mean, to be honest, right, with how much money Xbox is putting into Game Pass, I don't see why they wouldn't make a Guitar Hero game. I know it wouldn't be a game that could go onto Game Pass unless they properly, like, put in a mode that was, like, controller exclusive. Because, obviously, there were controller versions of Guitar Hero. Well, any Guitar Hero you can play with a controller, in theory. Because it uses the, uh, I believe it's the triggers. 
the bumpers, and then the A button for the five notes. So you could, in theory, do it, but I don't know. But an, a new Guitar Hero would be lovely. Like, I've played so much Guitar Hero. I have 150 days playtime on Guitar Hero Live. So, you know, I've played a lot. Before I forget that. I will admit, I did not like driving this car. It's been an absolute pain in the ass to drive, so... Oh yeah, we're getting on to uh, S-Class events, aren't we? Um, so there might not be a stream tomorrow. Um, just because I might be doing something tomorrow night. But uh, we should be back streaming Sunday. And then hopefully after that, we'll be back to how it was before. Um, yeah, hopefully. We might have a couple of days where we're not streaming next week. Just here and there while I'm getting back into the flow. But uh, definitely by um, the week after next week, we'll be back to seven streams a week. Every night. Do, do. Yeah, I do think the auto upgrade just did not put anything into the brakes. Um, which is one of the reasons why I don't use auto upgrade fully. Because of the fact it doesn't upgrade exactly as you want it. Like, there definitely isn't any braking performance here.
do 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 Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Nice. Oh, no. Ah. Woo! That was a big sneeze. Oh my god, my nose. <laughs> that was a sneeze and a half. Alright. Oh, my eyes are watering. It was like explosive. Hey, not bad. We're back up to a million credits. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.